and we have the low cooling power range, which are uh, mostly Stirling coolers with a cooling power of up to several watts, one watt at a, a temperature range of uh, 4 Kelvin. These small uh, units have been developed for uh, space applications or military applications to cool down sensors and they of course can be used now also for cooling sensor systems, HTS sensor systems. So this is a standard type of Stirling cooler which is nowadays considered to be a small cooler, which it in fact is. It's a small cooler that is used for cooling infrared sensors, mostly for military applications, but it's also used for civil applications like cooling ITC superconducting devices. We have, for instance, worked on cooling high-TC squids with these type of coolers for measuring adult heart signals. Now, the development that we do is reducing the size of this type of coolers. Not only the Stirling type cooler that I showed before, but also um, coolers like uh, Joule Thompson coolers. And these Joule Thompson coolers you can use in combination with absorption compressors. Now, one prototype that we made uh, already some time ago is a cooler that is working with um, ethylene as the working fluid and it starts from 300 K is able to um, arrive at a temperature of 170 K in uh, one stage a single unit this has been machined in silicon using micro machining technology in order to establish a check valve that has a minimum of uh, dead volume, since the dead volume is a lost term in um, the um, compressor and it reduces the efficiency of the compressor and thus the cooling power. Let's say a few centimeters in, in size. These are all test structures to characterize uh, small restrictions and at the moment we are making, manufacturing this cooler for test purposes. This is in um, a Joule Thompson type of system. Another development is on uh, regenerative cooler cycles that um, work as pulse tubes or as Stirling type coolers. And for that purpose, we also work on very small regenerator structures. The amount of heat that you can take up will Kelvin of temperature difference for a specific volume. This is lead, it goes down, and this is helium and five bar low pressure. It goes up because you approach the phase transition of vapor to liquid. And this typically indicates the problem. As lead goes down and helium goes up, you have a problem in your heat exchange and the regenerator. And for that reason, standard coolers stop at about 10K. What you need is um, regenerator material that has a much higher heat capacity than the lead. They have this high heat capacity because of magnetic transitions in this temperature range. They also get peaks because of the phase transitions, they get peaks in the peak capacity.